Hello there. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, Maricela. Good evening. How are you? ¿Qué tal sigue? Ya mejor siga. Ya un poquito mejor. Did you receive medicine? Sí, recibió medicina. Did you receive yes. medicine? Yes, I received. Ah, okay, good. Mm -hmm. And did you did you already take them? Ya tomó un poco. Eh, a las diez y media me toca tomar mano. Ah, <laughs> cada, okay. cada ocho horas. No me las ah, okay. Mm -hmm. eh, I will remind you. Si me acuerdo ahí lo vamos a decir. Marisela, bueno. the pills, <laughs> las pastillas, <laughs> or the medicine. Okay, okay Marisela. Thank you. Welcome. Teacher. Sí, cuesta, pero ya estamos en la recta final. Ya solo faltan cuatro clases. Bueno, si no contamos estas, solo three, three more classes y ya. Se acabó. Finish. We finish another level. Ya terminan el nivel dos. Okay. So, uh -huh. But welcome to the class. Cualquier cosa ahí me dice. Si no se siente muy bien o algo, pues siempre ahí me dice. Ahí vemos. Ok, teacher. Okay. Gracias. Uh -huh. You're Thank welcome. You. Hi, Nehemias. Hello, Mario, Katia, and Lisette. Good evening. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Estoy bien. No se ha mojado con la lluvia. Un poco. A little bit. Y cuando uno estaba pequeño le gustaba un montón mojarse. Ah, ¿verdad? sí. <laughs> Correcto. Ay, Falta ay, ay. A los charcos. Ajá. Ajá, y ahora no, nada. Nunca les ha tirado agua sucia a un carro. Así como que estén en un andén y va pasando un bus. Sí. Entonces, sí. Ya me ha sucedido. Yo he visto que les ha pasado a otros, pero nunca me ha pasado a mí. <laughs> <laughs> It happens. Um, I'm going to take the attendance and, and then we, we start with the class. So we start with Daisy Yesenia. Doris Elizabeth, Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela, Jose Mario. Present. Thank you. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lisa del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Okay. Nehemías, regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Hello. Hi. Hey, Rafael Antonio. René Guardado. Thank you, Rina. Rina Espinosa. No. Okay, Rosy. Melendez. Rosy Meléndez, no. Ok, Vladimir, Vladimir Antonio, Yanira Cepeda, Enzulma López. Presente. Ok, Yanni, thank you. I'm going to add it here. Ok. Ok, so... First, for this activity, we will remember the alphabet. Okay, we're going to remember the alphabet. Okay, so we are going to start with Alberto. Alberto, can you tell us the first five letters of the alphabet, please? The first five letters of the alphabet, Alberto. A, mm -hmm. B, C, D, mm -hmm. E. E. Ok, thank you, Alberto. And now, Jani, can you continue with the next five letters of the alphabet? Ok. E. 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 F. F. Uh -huh. e. J. G. G. F. G. K. H. H. 
Uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. Kill. Mm. I, Jenny. F G H I K. K. Uh -huh. And that's the one that is next. Okay, Jenny. Thank you. Okay. J, 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 thank you. Okay, Nehemias, please continue with the next five letters of the alphabet. L, mm -hmm. M, N, mm -hmm. O, B. And I'll stop you there. Mm -hmm. We're going well here, thank you. And Rene. Continue with the next ones, please. All right. Q R S T mm -hmm. U B V uh -huh. W. I'll I'll stop you there, Rene. But yes, <laughs> those okay. are the ones. Okay. Katia, can you tell us the last letters of the alphabet? The last part mm -hmm. of it. W. 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 Mm -hmm. Y. C. Uh -huh. C. Z. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Katia. Okay, so now that we have the letters of the alphabet, I'm going to ask you different categories, and you have to use the alphabet to tell me things. Vamos a pensar en diferentes categorías. Y con las letras del alfabeto vamos a decir algo que empiece con esa letra. Okay? You have to start with the letter of the alphabet. For example, drinks. We start with drinks. Okay, for example, Rafa. Hello, by the way, Rafa. Can you tell us a drink that starts oh, with A? A drink with A. Eh, una bebida o... Oh. Mm -hmm. Una bebida que empiece con A. No se me ocurre. Está pero en español. <laughs> uh -huh. Juice, have... juice apple. O, o tiene que empezar el nombre de la bebida. Pero es apple juice. Así que sí. Apple juice. Ajá. Oh, bueno. <risas> Yo estaba pensando en almond milk. Es una mm. leche como de almendra. Almond milk. Ay. Ajá. Apple juice. Okay. Apple Thank juice. you, Rafa. Oh. That's, that's the one. We continue with R. Can you continue, Rina? I'm sorry, with B. <laughs> I got confused with your first letter of your name. A drink with B. Hi, Rina. Um, voy entrando, teacher. No ah, sé okay. exactamente qué voy a hacer. Una bebida que empiece con B. A drink with B. Um, bebida con B. A drink with B. No, no, teacher. No. Ok, le voy a dar un poquito más de tiempo que sí se va conectando. Sorry. Ok, let's see, René. Do you have one in mind? There's a popular drink with B. With B. Mm -hmm. B as in baby. A beer. Mm -hmm. That's the one I had in mind. Maricela, <laughs> sí. Thank you, René. Ah, uh, sí, pero pensando estoy, dicho. Ajá, pues sí. No. Not yet. Okay, is there a volunteer? Someone who could help Maricela? A drink, let's see. 
Ajá. Coffee. Coffee. Coconut. Coffee, yes. Coffee or coconut water. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alberto. Okay, Alberto, help us with D. Sorry. <laughs> Not with D. No se me ocurre ninguna. Oh, pero lo pensaré. Okay. Or you, Katia? Do you have an idea? A drink with D? No, no se me ocurre nada. No. Okay. Eh, banana, teacher. But with D. Con D. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh, with D. But in English. <laughs> no, no. In English. Which one, Rafa? Or Mario? No, no. Um, sorry, what is that? Can you send it in the chat? Me recuerdo haber visto alguna daiquiri o algo así, pero no sé. ¿Cuál? Sorry. No. No doy comienzo. Dona, dona, ah, pero es una, un drink, una bebida. Ah, no. Eh, Ajá. Bebida BI, entonces. Which one? ¿Con qué pedo, perdón? No le entiendo bien, Mario. No sé si es el micrófono. Si está muy cerca de usted. Um, okay. Is there anybody that has one in Nemias? Do you have an idea? Draft. Draft beer. Which one? Draft. Draft beer. Ah, okay. Can you send it by chat, please? It's a beer, you said. Mm, let me see. Draft. Okay, it's the first time I see that drink, that beer. The uh, barril. Ah, okay. Y así le salió. Draft. Como beer. draft. Um, yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. It's, a, it's another one. So now let's continue with the next letter. Can you help us with that one, Rosie? A drink that starts with E. Voy a pensar, teacher. <laughs> okay. Is there anybody who has an idea? A drink with E. Ahí acabo de encontrar una Insta teacher. It is a instant coffee. But with E. E es la E. Ay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, letter E. Expresso coffee. Expressos, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Now, next letter. Yanni, do you have an idea? F, a drink with F, Yanni. Are you there, Jenny? No. Mario and you? Do you have an idea? A drink with F? Mm -mm. No. And Mario, do you? Do you have one in mind? Or Rafa, you have one. Frozen. Uh-huh. Frozen. Frozen. 
fresh juice or fresh, uh, mm, fresh water. Mm -hmm. Correct. So we can use those yeah. ones. Or, or fruit, snake. Correct. So we have that. Just to exercise our brains a little bit. Okay, so we continue. We continue in the book. We, we will study a little bit more how to use wood today. That is the class about. I'm going to share with you the book so you can see it. Unit number four about tech support. And what is the objective of the class? That you can report a problem using formal or professional language. That is what we will study. And we start here with problems with printers. Okay, so Nehemias, do you remember? Do you remember some common problems with printers? Yesterday we mentioned some, but if you have other ones in mind, you can also say them. Common problems with printers, Nehemias. Jump paper. Mm-hmm. Do you use printers in your company? Yes. Uh, off, offline or network? Offline work. Network. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. How, how often do you use printers? And usually. Mm, like every week? Do you use them um, every week? Yes. So, so. So, so. Okay, thank you. Casi Demi. todo es digital. Ah, okay. Mejor, se gasta menos sí. paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Nehemias. Hello, Joa. How are you? Can you can you speak or the chat? The chat. Ah, okay. So, can you tell us about this? What are common problems that you have with printers? And tell us how often you use them. Send it by chat, and I will I will read your comment. Rosie, what about you? What is the most common problem with printers in your case? Teacher, yo no utilizo en mi trabajo. You don't use them? No. Ah, ah okay. Okay, Rosy. Uh, sorry, René, what about you? What is the most common problem you have with computers? I'm sorry, printers. <laughs> printers. Uh... Yes. Well, um, we don't use printers either. I mean, I, there is a printer in the, in, the uh, in my job, but another department. You barely use them. Really, it's barely used. Mm. Maybe one time, and that would happen like two years. <laughs> okay, so it's almost never. Winter. It's very rare. What yeah. do you use the most? Like computers. That is your everyday tool, I imagine. You use your computer it is. all the time. There is, it is my phone, my, my computer. That's my tool for you today. Phone and computers. Do you use headphones? Uh, uh, no. I use, not really, because I don't need to be on a call. I, I call. My job is related with support and email, so mm -hmm. I barely use it. But sometimes we have like a meeting in the morning, so in that case, I use my head just to join the meeting. Okay, I understand. Most of the time, just the computer and phone. That's, that's pretty much everything. That I mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Rene. Katia, and you, do you use printers? in your company? Yes, uh, every day. Every day? 
Ah, okay. And what is the most common problem? Um, the el ejemplo que dio ayer de paper stack. Oh, no sé cómo se dice. Paper stack. Uh -huh. In the printer. Paper in the printer. And lo de la tinta, no me acuerdo. That the printer is out of ink. Sí, esos serían los dos problemas más comunes. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you other possibilities. I just put three of them there, but I'm going to add other two. For example, printer is unresponsive. You sent a comment, but the printer doesn't print. It doesn't respond. This is another possibility. Printer won't print. It's not doing it for some reason. Bad print quality. That could be another problem. The quality of the print is not, not good. Paper jams, that is what Nehemiah mentioned, if I'm not mistaken. Paper jams or too slowly. Okay, the opposite of fast, too slowly. Okay, those what are some. What means about paper jam? Hmm? Paper jams. Oh, when the paper gets like stuck on the on the printer. Oh. Mm -hmm. So paper jams. Oh, that's the way to say it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here you have other possibilities, common problems. We are all familiar with them. Ahí tienen otras posibilidades. Creo que mm -hmm. la mayoría estamos como familiarizados con esos problemas. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the conversation and I'm going to give you feedback about your conversations, yesterday's conversations, um, about how to, how to make a phone call and, and work on this, on tech support. Okay, so it says, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike, this is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the panel, sorry, in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay, so that is the conversation. We will practice it a little bit and we will start with Nelson. Okay, Nelson, let's start with you and Rina. Nelson, Rene. Nelson, you'll be Mike, Enrina, Maria. Uh, Mike Hernandez is department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printing. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? I doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Uh, is there a mesa in the control panel? Yes, besides service, also there is a red line on the Button. I would like you to come from to check, check it. Uh, see, uh, I'll be the right away. Okay, thank you very much. I will help you with some, some words. I'm just going to, to mark them. 
and then we can we can practice them. Um, okay, so we start with Rina and then we we practice with you, Nelson. Okay, Rina, number one, accounting. Accounting. Mm -hmm. Accounting. Message. 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 Mm -hmm. Bo bottom. Bottom. Mm -hmm. bottom. Right away. Right away. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. Now, Nelson, can you repeat? Accounting. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, Message. Message. Mm -hmm. Message. Message. Uh, bottom. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, right away. Yes, right away. Right away. Right away. Uh, right away. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nelson. Okay. Rene and Maricela, please continue. Rene, you'll be Mike, and Maricela, you'll be Maria. Okay. Uh, Mike Hernandez, I see the permit. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? I, it doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red line on the road bottom. I will like to, to come soon to check it. I see. I be there right away. Okay, thank you. Rene, can you repeat this one again? Just one more time. Right, right away. Uh, try to change the sound of that. Away, oh, right away. Right, right away. away. Right away, yes. That is the right way we away. usually pronounce that one, like away. Oh, Thank you. Away. Away. It sounds like oh. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So, so it's right away. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right and, away. And Maricela, can you repeat this one? The one that you see here. So to check it. Okay. Check Soon. It. it sounds like you. Soon. 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 Uh huh. Yes, it's like S U N. Uh huh. That is the way it sounds. Soon. Okay. Thank you, Marisela and Rene. Mm -hmm. Alberto and Katia. Alberto, you go first. Your mic. <laughs> Mike Hernandez, this is the parliament. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a, a, a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. It, say, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the arrow button. button. I, would like, I would like you to come soon to check it out. Check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay, very good. Katia, you corrected yourself, so I don't have nothing to say. You know how to say it. Thank you, Alberto. Good pronunciation. So let's continue with Rosie and Jani. 
Rosy, you are Mike, and Jani, you are Maria. Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, my, this is Maria Ochoa from a country. A country will like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange note. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there's, there is a red light on the error bottom. I would like you to come soon to check it. It's I see. I'll be there right away. Okay. Thank you, Jani and Rosie. Now, the some pronunciation words. Accounting. Can you repeat it, Jani? Accounting. And then we Accounting. listen to Rosie. Accounting. Accounting. Mm -hmm. Accounting. Rosie. Accounting. Noise. 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 Mm -hmm. Noise. Error. Error. Uh -huh, happy error. error is Spanish. English uh -huh. version error. Error. Yes. Error. Correct. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now let me see Mario and Nehemias. Mario, you go first. You'll be Mike. And in Nehemias, you'll be Maria, please. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service also. There is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check, check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Nehemias and, and Mario. So this word, would, the L is silent. We don't pronounce the L. We have to omit the, the pronunciation of the L. When you say it, it will sound like that, just like this, would. That is the way it sounds. Okay. Would. Uh -huh. It's the same pronunciation would as like. this. Would, would is the same pronunciation, but the, the way you write it is different, right? And the pronunciation will be would, no L. Mm -hmm. Correct, that's the way it sounds. And that is what we will be studying in a moment, how to use would like. Is there question, well, are there questions about the, the conversation? Do you want to ask something related to the vocabulary or something you don't know? Rafa? La última línea, I see y I. Está la I, el apóstrofe y la doble L. I be there. Yes, it is a contraction of a future tense. I will be there. It is something that we use to, to express future. It means I will be there. A sentence to say something that is going to happen in the future. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Any other questions? No. Okay, so now let's continue here. It says, 
Complete the sentences below. Use the conversation to help yourself. And we start with Alberto. Figure it out. What do you need here? I like to report this issue. What can we put? I use the verb to be. I don't like to report this um, issue. No, no, Alberto, it's not I, that. I would will, will like. Uh -huh. That's the, the one we have to use. Word. I would like. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Joanna, what do you think about the other one? Thank you, Albert. What do you think about the other one, Joa? What do we need to use? I would fix this. Do you have an idea, Joe? No. Okay. Maricela and you? What do you think we could put in this blank space? Yes, Maricela. We have to put here like. I would like and to. I would like to fix this. Uh -huh. That is what we were missing. Okay, so in this moment, we're going to study affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions with would. We will go one by one, affirmative statements, and then negative statements, and later questions. Okay, so it's going to be Mm, a little bit long. Okay, so first, let's go here. One moment. Okay, we are going to study would like, would like, not just would, because would is something aside, is something different. We're going to study would like to. Okay, can you read the first explanation, Rene, please? Or I would like to say what I want. What you, I, I, what you see there. Um, could you read it out loud? The first okay. box. Um, you would like to say what you want. Thank you. We will pause there. So that is when you have to use would like to say or to express what you want. Okay, so that is the use would like one moment would like is equal to want okay it means the same would like means want okay let's continue with the next one can you read it katia the the second box thank you Rene. the second box you see la segunda part second box would like to sound more polite or professional than want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're wondering, I think I told you that yesterday, creo que les mencioné eso ayer. I think I told you that yesterday, would like is more polite. It sounds better, more professional than want. It's more formal, the más formal. And then let's continue with the next one. 
Can you read that one, Nelson? Nelson Rene. The third, la tercera, the third explanation box. Okay. Es special. Mm -hmm. Special when when making offer and, and request. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So especially in these moments with offers or requests, we use would like. Cuando ofrecemos o nos queremos, queremos ofrecer algo. Or request, it is a petition or a solicitation. Una solicitud, una petición, request. In those cases, let's use would like. Para pedir algo, hay que sonar educado, right? So we want to use would like instead of want. Imagine this, mom, mom, I want pupusas. Imagine this comment, mom, I want pupusas. That is not polite. If you want to request, si quieren pedir algo, if you want to ask for something, it's better if you say, mom, I would like to eat pupusas. Sorry, I, I skipped a part. I want to eat. That is what I meant. I want to eat pupusas. Okay, number one, it's plain, it's my seco. But number two is the same, but now it's it's more polite. Okay, it sounds better. Mom, I would like to eat pupusas. Option number two. Or imagine that you go with your manager, van con su manager or supervisor, and you say, want, uh, sorry, boss, I want a raise. Quiero un aumento, I want a raise. If you say it like that, I don't know if your boss is going to say yes, like this. I want to have a raise, raise. Okay, un aumento. Okay, but more professional, I would like to have a raise. Why? Porque es una petition, right? It's a request. Uh, okay, do you have questions in this moment about the use? Tenemos alguna duda con el uso, about the use of would like? No. Not in this moment. Okay, let's check the next. Sure. Rafa, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, siempre se, se utiliza la, la frase completa, would like to. No, mm. no, if you no, want to, I'm going to say it now. We can use contractions. Okay, so we have all the subjects. Let's see, can you tell us, Rafa, the seven subjects that we have? I. ¿Cuáles son todos los sujetos, Rafa? All the subjects. Ajá. Uh -huh. you, he, she, it. If you want to, I'm going to put it on the whiteboard first. I think it's better here. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. I, you, he, she. It, right? It. Mm -hmm. We, they. Yes, we and they. And then we use would. But we have another possibility. Would like to. You can use a contraction and you only use the final letter. I would, or you can say, you can say, I. It is the same, but now you have the contraction. You would, contraction form, subject, apostrophe, D. 
your. Uh, he would contraction. He apostrophe did hit. So we we take the last letter. Tomamos la última letra de would. We take the last letter. She she would shed it. No contraction. Grammatically speaking, we say no. We don't use a contraction with it. Just it would, but no contraction possible. With they. So that is the other possibility you have. That's, that's the other possibility you have. Um, and then you continue. I like to have a race. Okay. The other part is normal. Uh huh. Y el okay. verbo like podría cambiar. Siempre es el... No, it doesn't es, change. Es una frase. Ajá, uh -huh, it is a phrase. Okay. Because today, I think tomorrow, I'm, I'm not sure, but today the class is about would like, would like to. Would, only would is different. It's different would. But today is would like for requests or offers. Ajá. Uh -huh. So let's not remove it. Eh, ahora estamos estudiando would like. Si quitamos el like, ya se convierte en algo distinto, que ya va a cambiar el significado de la oración. Así que ahora no vamos a tocar ese solo would, sino que estamos con would like. Would like. Ese es el que estamos ahorita estudiando. Ok, so coming back here. Let's see. Let's go with the next one. Here you have different examples, different examples with different subjects, different people. So you can see different options. In the first part, we have want. And on the second part, or on the other side, you have the same example, but using would like. Ahí les puse uno con want, para que vean cómo lo diríamos normal. Y cómo estaría ya con would like. Okay, let's start with number one. Can you help us with the first one, Nelson? Nelson René. Example number one. Puede ayudarnos leyendo el primer ejemplo, Nelson, please. Okay. We want to eat pupusas. Mm -hmm. We would, we would like to eat pupusas. Okay, thank you. Jani, number two. Example number two, please. Okay. I want, mm -hmm. uh, I want a day off. I would like to have a day off. Mm -hmm. Yes, and here I miss, I want to have. I want to have a day off. I would like to have a day off. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Now, Daisy, number three. Employees want a rice. Employees would like to have a rice. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this one is race, Daisy. That is the, the pronunciation, but thank you. Okay, Rina, next one, Rina, please. She wants to see you tonight. She would like to see you tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Rina. Now, Rene, can you help us with the last one, please? And we will study negative form in, in a moment, but here you have an idea. Okay. He doesn't want to work. He will not, he wouldn't mm -hmm. like to work tonight. Okay, thank you. Can I continue? Can I continue or not yet? Puedo seguir? 
Todavía no. No. Let la me know. Parte uh -huh. De negación que, que le dio René. He, would, he wouldn't. Uh -huh. He wouldn't. O he would. No sé. No, no lo escuché muy bien. The pronunciation. Yes. W wouldn't. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. Ok. Wouldn't. We will get to negative sentences in a moment, but we will practice really quick affirmative sentences. Guys, please think about an example in the affirmative form. Something that you would like, please. Please think about a request, something that you want or something that a family member wants. And please say your example. Un ejemplo utilizando would like. Algo que sea real. Something that you want. Let me know when you have it. When you have it, you can send it by chat or you can say it. You say that the example needs to be with one and will like. Or just will like. Would like. Mm -hmm. Only would like. And if you have questions, please let me know. If you have questions until this moment, you can tell me. Una oración, teacher. Yes. Are you ready, Rafa? I would like to check my laptop. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, that will be correct. Thank you for the example, Rafa. Daisy says, I would like to visit your house. Okay, that one is also correct. Joanna. I would like to travel to Ireland. By the way, by the way, por cierto, you can use this for present and future actions. Lo pueden utilizar en futuro, okay? No problem. Use a time word. Example, I would like to go to the beach tomorrow. Next week, next Monday. Okay, you can use this in future activities or present activities. So just that point. Okay, and then Mario says, I would like to have, to have Mario, a salary increase. We all want that all the time, I imagine. Okay, Rene, are you ready? Yes. Uh -huh. I would like to go out with my friends this week. Correct. Yes. Thank you. Yanni, we would like to go, Yanni. El go se nos escapó en esa oración, Yanni. I would like to go to the beach. I would like to go. Uh -huh. Okay. Recuerde cómo suena, Yanni. Suena así, mire. Mm -hmm. Would. Go. Uh -huh. Work. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Alberto, ready? Do you have your sentence, Alberto? Or you're sending it by chat. Okay, and then Katy, I would like to have a card. Yes. And then Maricela, I want a computer. Uh -huh. I would like to buy a computer. I would like to have vacations. Zulma, se nos escapó también ahí el, el verbo. I would like to have vacations or, or any other option. I would like to go to the park. 
I would like to sleep. <laughs> uh -huh, Alberto. In this moment, you're tired, I imagine, Alberto. No ha dormido mucho. No, no. Uh, I'm tired. Le tocó turno. Este día ha sido pésimo y más con lluvia. Ajá, eso da más sueño, la lluvia y el, el frío. So, Correcto. Ok, I'm sorry, Alberto. I hope you can rest soon. Espero que sí pueda hacerlo pronto. Ok, and then, Rina, I want to go to work. Rina quiere trabajar. Wow, ok, la admiro. That's the attitude, Rina. It is correct. <laughs> correct sentence. I would like to go to the cinema. I would like to have vacations. Okay, so that's the way it goes. Affirmative sentences. Okay, negative sentences. So when you make negative sentences, you can use it like this. Remember, negative sentences is something that you don't want. Something that you don't want. There are two options. Option number one, I wouldn't, well, no contraction. You can say, I would not, no contraction. I would not like to work tomorrow, okay? Negative sentence. I don't want to work tomorrow. I can say, I would not like to work tomorrow. Or contraction. I not like to work tomorrow. This is another alternative. Another possibility. Esa es otra opción, alternativa. And I wouldn't like to work tomorrow. Okay, it is the same, but you have about three possibilities. No contraction or contraction of the subject and would or contraction of would and not, wouldn't. Okay, so you have those options. Okay, now can you tell me something you don't want? Something you don't want. The only change is now you have to use would not. That is the one you have to use. Para hacerlo negativo, lo único que necesitan hoy es agregarle not. A word. And I will add more examples if you want. Voy a poner otros acá if you want more examples. Only would not. I would not like to travel next week. Okay, that's the negative form. He wouldn't like to um, go to the bank. Okay, this is the negative form. Would not. Okay, so aha, uh -huh, Maricela, that one is correct. To go, to go to work, to go to work, Maricela, only that change. Who else is ready? Who can share, share an example? You seen would not. Is there somebody else ready? Uh, 
Um, by the way, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance because it's 9 p.m. and then we continue. Okay, so Daisy Yesenia. Present. Okay, it is Joanna. You can send it in the chat, it is. And then we continue with Mario. Present. Mario okay. Marcela Morales. Katia Gabriela. Present. Present. Lisette del Carmen. Marisela del Carmen. Um, Present, Richard. Thank you, Nehemias Regalo. Nelson Alberto. Present. Thank you. Pensé que ya no iba a regresar, Nelson. Nehemias. Present. Ok. Sí, Thank sí, ya you. se solucionó. Ah, qué bueno. Ok. Eh, Nelson Alberto, Nelson René, Rafael Antonio. Present. Present here. Okay. René Guardado. Present. Okay. Rina Espinosa. Present, teacher. Okay. Rosy Meléndez. Hola. Present, teacher. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Lisset, en Zulma Lorena. Parece. Ok, thank you. Ok, Zulma. Ok, Zulma, thank you. We are talking about negative, negative statements, Nehemias. Ok, Alberto, can you read your example, please? I send the chat, teacher, and my example is I I wouldn't like to drive motorcycle tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you. Katia, can you read yours? I would not like to exercise. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And let's see. Daisy, read yours, please. I um how do you say in negative? Uh, wouldn't. I wouldn't like to eat late. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Rina, can you read yours, please? Read the example you sent by chat. Sí, ya la envié ahí, no sé si era. Ajá, sí, la puede leer, please. Can you read it? I would not like to play soccer. Ajá. Thank you. And then Jani, Jani, continue, please. Uh, I would not like to go park. To go to the park, then. Park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now Zulma. Bueno, Zulma tiene problemas con su connection, but I have it here. I would not like to get up early tomorrow. Yes, that's difficult. <laughs> Okay, Nelson, I would not like to go to, to work. René, do you have yours? I, will, I wouldn't like, I'm sorry, come on, so you said I, 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 I like to, I, I wouldn't like. I not. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it's I not. Mm -hmm. Okay. I not like to eat soup tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Soup tomorrow. Because mm -hmm. soap will be jabón. Jabón. Mm -hmm. Okay. Soup. Thank you, Rene. Maricela, do you have yours? Um, I would like to buy a computer. Negative, negative I form. Would, would, ¿Cómo se pronuncia el negativo? Wouldn't. Would, wouldn't. wouldn't. I wouldn't like to work tomorrow, teacher. I imagine. Pero solo la mitad del día, right? Yes. Vaya, un poquito. 
¿Qué son? Dos horitas. I'm just kidding. Son Cuatro. más, perdón. <risa> ok, Marisela. Pasa Thank rápido. Uh -huh. Va a pasar rápido, ya va a ver. Ok, Katia, did you read yours? No sé si lo mandamos acá, Katia. Sí. Ah, ajá, cierto. Ok, thank you. Ya lo vi. Ok, so that is about negative statements. But remember, we use would like, especially when we want to request something or offer something. Ok, queremos ofrecerle algo a alguien o es un request. Ahí es cuando utilizamos más would like. Yes, would like. No estamos viendo solo would ahorita. Ok, so questions. Vamos con questions y ya luego ya podemos practice. We can practice would like. It is very simple, very easy. Um, ok, so it will be like this. Um, just give me one second. He... This is a normal sentence. He would like to visit New York. He would like to, to drink coffee later. And example number three, sentence number three, we would like to have a party. Okay, now check out the way we create the question. It is simple. We will change just the position of two words. Solo vamos a cambiar la posición de dos palabras. We will change the position of two words. Questions. The position of the subject and word. Okay, the subject and word. Subject and word. We exchange the position. He would like to visit New York. Okay, question. Would he like to visit New York? And question mark. We need the symbol at the end. She would like to drink coffee later. You exchange the position. Would he like to drink coffee later? Would she like to drink coffee later? We would like to have a party. Would, if you want to, you can add WH questions. Y si ustedes quieren, siempre pueden agregar las WH questions al principio. For example, why? Why would we like to have a party? Or where, maybe where is better? Where? Will you, will she, will Rina, will Jani like to have a party? Okay, Jani would like to have the party in the park. Jani would like to have the party in the stadium. Okay, you mentioned the place. That is how you make questions. I have more examples. I have more examples for you to see. Okay, so I'm going to share again the presentation. Let's go back to the presentation. And please check out, examine the questions and the answers, okay? Questions and answers. Okay, question number one. Lina, can you read question number one, please? What will you like to do next summer? Um, mm -hmm. and the answer. I will. I would like to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tina. Thank you. Next. 
negative form. You can see it here. Maricela, can you read the question and the answer, please? What about, about you, Peter? Mm -hmm. And the answer is I will, will not, wouldn't. Want, I wouldn't like to go to the beach. To the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, negative answer. Thank you. Let's continue with the next one. Okay, Rosy, can you read the next one, please? What would you like to do on your birthday? And I would like to be with my friends. Uh huh. I would like to have a party with my friends. And now the negative form. Daisy, can you read that one, please? The negative form. What about you, Peter? I wouldn't like to go to the same park. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So that is the negative form. Okay, Alberto, next one, please. What would you like to go to the other weekend, huh? Mm -hmm. I would like to go to the gym, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, and, and that's, that's it. So there you have some examples about the questions. Can you create a question, please? A question and the answer. Ahora, por favor, creen ustedes una. Just one question with the answer. And I'm going to give you a moment. Is there something you would like to ask? No sé si hay algo que quisieran preguntarme. About would, would like. No. Okay. When you have the question, you can read it or you can send it by chat. Hi, Marce, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Otra vez. Uh -huh. <laughs> I imagine, because you came after. Um, while I'll try to show you maybe something, you can take a screenshot. Puedes tomarle una picture, una foto. The use of would like, that is what we study. Eso es lo que hemos estado estudiando, how to use would like. And would like is something that we use to say what we want, but it sounds more polite or professional than want, especially when making offers or requests. This is the moment or these are the moments when we use would like. And here you have some examples so you can compare. I, we want to eat pupusas, and then you can use would like, we would like to eat pupusas. It's the same, but now it's more formal, more polite. I want a day off. You can say we, sorry, I would like to have a day off. So it's the same, es lo mismo, pero estoy cambiando la, el verbo, ya no utilizo want, sino que utilizo would like. That is what we, we are trying to practice. Hemos uh, practicado affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. Pero si sí estaba un poco larga la the explanation, Mars. Pero si no, puedes quedarte en la sesión de 10 minutos o puedes ver el video en esa parte. About the explanation, Marce, para que no te sientas así muy perdida. 
in this topic. Mm. Ok, teacher. Sí, más o menos este, ya le comprendí porque ya había visto un poquito de eso antes. Ah, pero, okay. ajá, pero, pero igual voy a ver el video siempre porque pues, sí, es mejor en el momento recordarse. Refrescarlo. Uh -huh. Ok, sounds cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, let me see the questions. Eh, Rafa, are you going to send the answer? Va a mandar la respuesta de la pregunta, Rafa. Are you going to send the answer? Oh, I, no, no está ahí, right? Will my coworkers like to work tomorrow? And then, Katia, what would you like to eat in the morning? I would like to eat cereal. I wouldn't like to eat fish. Mm -hmm. What would you like for Christmas? I would like to cook for my family. Maybe, Joa, we can add, what would you like to do for Christmas or on, on Christmas? Maybe just that little change. Okay, Maricela, what would you, check Maricela, what would you do next weekend? I would like to go to the beach, Maricela. Go to the beach, I would like to go to the park, I imagine, to the park in the morning. What would you like to do? Ah, ah, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No problem. And Mario, what would you like to do on vacation? And I'm waiting for the, the answer. <clears throat> okay, that's the, the way we can say it. We have to practice. I know it's a new topic. We need to practice. That is what we will be doing in the next minute. I have some activities here to practice. So um, yes, continue sending them and I will, I will check them. Okay, um, Rene, are you going to read it or will you send it by chat? You have it? Okay, yes. please. What would you like to do tomorrow? I would like to to that's good. <laughs> okay. I will I would like to, to sleep all the day. Uh-huh. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. Um okay, Nelson. Mm -hmm. It will be correct, Rosy. Yes, it is correct too. Okay, well, good job. Good job on the questions. They look good. The sentences look good. So congratulations, we're doing well. Remember on the last day of the class on Thursday next week, we practice, we review the topics because sometimes we forget. Siempre el último día es review, ¿verdad? Vamos a, a practicar más este tema, por si ya se les olvidó un poquito para ese día. Eh, por cierto, creo que ya saben de que el miércoles 15 de septiembre no, no hay clases, ¿verdad? Es feriado, uh -huh. así que van a tener ese day off. Y volvemos ajá, para el último día de clases, jueves, Thursday. Ahorita faltan three days sin contar este, ¿verdad? Para finalizar módulo. Ok, so it's time to continue. Ahora vamos con los role plays. We will practice with conversations using would like. Ok, in this, in this conversation, you have to report a problem to technical support. Request them to, to help you. But Give me one second. I'm just going to get some information I, I have to provide to you. Okay. It will only take me a moment. Aha, uh Sulma. -huh. So that question is for break.
Okay, so yes, we are going to continue with a conversation. In this conversation, you have to use would like. And in scenario, la idea es que está abierta la conversation a diferentes escenarios. This is an example. Imagine that you, you would like to report a problem with your computer. Puede ser que lo hagan sobre tech support, utilizando would like. I would like to report a problem and then you continue. O si ustedes quieren, pueden hacerlo sobre cosas que ustedes desean. Things you would like to do tomorrow or on, uh, in summer. Así que está abierto para que ustedes escojan la situación para utilizar would like. You know the, the use, ya saben en qué se utiliza más que todo. Así que los voy a dejar también un poco más a su imaginación. Before I divide you, is there something you would like to ask? No sé si tienen alguna duda antes que los separe. <coughs> About the role play con, con respecto a esta conversation. So it's just Jenny? making a, like a conversation um, included would. Mm -hmm. Would like. Would yes. Like. Okay. Yes. Okay. And it's up to you the scenario that you select. It's open to you. If you want to, you can do it about making a full phone call to tech support. But if you don't want to, you can select another, another option. Okay. All right, so we start with Mario. Please work with Nelson. Mario and, and Nelson. And then Katia. Okay, this time you work with Marce. Katia and Marce. Then Daisy. Please work with Rina. Daisy and Rina. And then Joanna, you're going to stay here, here with me. Maricela, please work with Alberto. Maricela and Alberto. Then Rafa and Jani. Rafa and Jani. Now Rene. Uh, it's going to be a group of three because we are not even. So Rene, Rosy, and, and Zulma. Please open the room. Um, Joa, are you there, Joa? You can send me a message. You can send me a message. Teacher, yes, Rosie. Cuando le iba a presionar el botón, ya no me salió la opción de unirme al grupo. Ah, ok. La voy a enviar a un grupo que no es y luego la voy a enviar a la que es porque no le puedo reenviar al mismo lugar, Rosy. Así que okay. esté pendiente de la pantalla porque ahorita no va para el lugar correcto. One Pero moment, Ajá. Yes. Y luego acepta el otro que ya le, ya le voy a enviar. Ok. Sí le, sí le cayó, Rosy, la invitación. No. Tampoco. Voy a probar una, una vez más. Si no le cae... Eh, Ahí está. Vaya. Ok, um, Joa, I wanted to let you know that since you, you can speak, please create a dialogue on on the chat okay create the conversation and when you finish the conversation send it to me by chat the same your classmates are doing but in this case you're going to do it individually and do it on the chat okay en este uh -huh. questions or is it clear estamos claras yo 
Ok. Entonces voy a ir a visitar a, a sus classmates. Y no lo envíe hasta que esté acá, porque si manda el, el mensaje antes, no me llega, no lo puedo leer. Así que hasta que ya regrese acá al room, con todos los participantes, ahí sí me lo envía, please. Ok. Yo finalizaré. Ah. Yo haría el, el mensaje entonces iniciaría yo acá preguntando. Ok. Uh, okay. Yeah, pregunta. Well, Do you have well, questions I... for me? Mm, no. Nope. No, no <laughs> questions. Por el momento no. Mm. Ok, good. Y Mario, ¿qué tal estuvo lo del trabajo? Si ¿Sí lograron solucionar el problema. Gracias a Dios, sí, los últimos dos días. Qué bueno. Estaba trabajando mucho en eso. Pero qué bueno sí, que sí se logró sí. arreglar, porque sí, si no, sí, sí hubiera estado en problemas. Sí, ya, 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 ya solo pensaba en renunciar ya con ese problema. Uh -huh. Sí, pero, pero gracias qué bueno. A Dios, entonces. Me apoyaron los compañeros y mi jefa nunca me dejó ahí abandonado y gracias Tampoco. a Dios logramos compensar. Ah, ya. Ah, pues estuvieron bien entretenidos con todo eso trabajar. Sí, yo tuve bastante presión. Ayer, así sí. le digo, tanta presión que no tomé ni una gata de agua en todo el día. Sí, me imagino. Llegué a la casa. Pero qué bueno tenerte por acá. Yo sé que cuesta, sí. cuesta porque más con todos esos problemas, pero por lo menos también se, se como que distrae la mente, ¿verdad? De los problemas del día a día que todos tenemos. Sí, sí yo no. siento que me relaja la clase. Ajá, es como que nos entretenemos y no hay chance sí. de estar pensando en dos cosas. Ok, sí, qué bueno, entonces lo voy a dejar con, con Nelson, entonces. Nelson, ¿usted tiene alguna duda? ¿Algo en lo que le pueda ayudar? Por el momento, no, ya estamos no. armando la conversación. Ya ok, con qué bueno. Ok, los voy a dejar entonces. ¿No? You can continue, solo okay. los voy a escuchar un rato. Ok. Vaya, Mario. Entonces, después de eh, Nashimitsu, le hago la pregunta yo. What, would you like to go to the cinema? Mm, que, que si me gustaría ir al cine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ahí tú, tú decides cómo responder. Yes. Y, ajá, ahí... Ajá, ya te quito para la respuesta. Yes, I, bueno, yes, wow, what, what, what I like uh -huh. go to the cinema. cinema. Uh -huh. Y ahí solo que me formulé ahí otra, una pregunta tú. Uh -huh. Ahora yo te hago la pregunta, correcto. Hacerme una pregunta ahí. Pero no sé si me vas a responder después que te responda la respuesta. O no sé si vas a poner ahí un very good o, o ah. great. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ah, porque yo respondo así. Ah. Ah. Sí, me gustaría. Ah, okay. ah, para seguir la secuencia. Eh. Ah, uh -huh. Excelente, lo voy a poner ahí. Uh -huh. eh. Excelente. En, uh -huh. Entonces ahí tú me. Formula la siguiente pregunta. Mm. Ajá. Yo te formulo la pregunta. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Así es. Let me ask you some questions. Sería. Ajá, pero podría ponerle ahí. I would like to... Ah, sí, ¿verdad? You, ajá, para que vaya el I would ajá. like. Ajá. I would like you ask some questions. Hi. Sorry to Hola. interrupt. Do you have questions for me? Is there something I can help you with? Um, yo le intenté explicar más o menos pero... ah, gracias uh -huh. sí. no sé si, si sí. 
No, no, yo ya, ya, le, ya le entendí. Gracias sí, también. Marce agarra ella. todo ahí en el aire. Solo uh -huh. uno le medio dice y ella ya, ya lo agarra el rampo. No, gracias okay. por explicarme. Sí, ella también me estaba explicando ya más detenida. <risa> ok, man. Y si no, cualquier cosa, pues el, el último día hacemos repaso. O también okay, está sí. el, el video o, o... Ajá. Si no, yo también en la sesión. Ok, entonces si no tienen dudas, pues las voy a dejar que lo sigan armando. Ya casi terminan. ¿O no? No, no falta todavía. Ok, entonces la voy a dejar ahí para que lo sigan preparando, ok? And then I, I hear you, ok? In the other room. Ok, see you in a moment. Bye. Hi. Hi, teacher. How, how are you doing, Rina and Daisy? Aquí, Armando. <laughs> And how is that going? ¿Qué tal van? ¿Necesitan ayuda? ¿O um, sienten que van? Sentimos que vamos bien. Ay, vamos, decimos que bien. Ah, vaya, me alegra escuchar eso. Ok, vaya. Entonces la voy a dejar ahí que sigan. Ya en un ratito nos juntamos otra vez. Ok. Ok. Bye. Yeah. I, uh, uh -huh. Huh? Hi, the very sleepy, very day. Sorry Hi, to interrupt. How are you doing? Is there something Don't I can help you with? Here yeah, uh, we improvise now. You're improvising. Van a improvisar. Yeah, it's the best. This. It's the best for me and the Maricela. Ok, ok, está bien, solo si ya tienen una idea sobre qué lo van a hacer. Estamos como que ya como en los últimos afines. Ah, <ríe> ah, ok. Sí, porque la idea es que traten de utilizar would like, lo más que puedan, ¿verdad? ¿Me parece? Ajá. Maricela. En okay. Yuri, Maricela. Ajá. Pues ahora o nunca. Estamos, estamos bien. Ok. Ahorita lo hemos hecho como así como what. What do you do? 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 Eh, algo así vamos a hacer una conversación. Ok, solo revisen las estructuras, por ejemplo, de preguntas, asegúrense de utilizar would, dónde es y todo, ¿verdad? Va antes del subject. Ah, si no, ahí okay. les doy feedback. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Ok, lo voy okay. a dejar entonces, ya casi nos juntamos otra vez. Ok, see you later. Okay. Hi, Jenny. Hello, Rafa. Hi, teacher. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cortita. Hasta ahí va ahorita. Sí. sí. Pero me gusta que todo va con wood like. Ajá. <laughs> va bien. Ajá, la estructura va bien. Okay. Si pueden pensar en más, todavía tienen okay. unos minutitos, quizás uno o dos más, pero ah, lo que okay. pongo ahí está bien. Uh -huh. Good job with the structure. Ok, ¿alguna duda que tengan antes que me marche? Eh, no. No, teacher. No, ok. So no. I'll let you continue. Bye. Ok. okay. Um, how many how many signal bars do you see on your phone? I see four bars. You see full bars, okay. Oh, uh, well, it seems to be a problem with the device. So I will send someone, I will send a technician over there to get a sad one fixed today. Hi. Well, yes. Sorry Hi, to teacher. interrupt. Have you guys finished? We almost finished. Okay, 
You still have a few seconds in that case. I'll see you there in, in a moment. Hi, Rosy Sevino. Por accidente o os o ya había terminado. Le cuesta con las uñas. Darle. Le voy a ayudar ahí. Ok, hoy sí. Well, they are going to come in a moment and we can listen to your conversations. I'm going to send a notification so, so I can help you. I know it's kind of difficult with your nails. <laughs> okay, welcome back. I hope you already finished. Um, we will start with the conversations because we still have another activity to continue with. So let's begin with Katia. Katia and Marce. Can you please go first? Katia and Marce. Okay. Um, hello, I am Katia. How can I help you? Hello, Katia. I'm Marcela from Human Resource Department. I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is the problem with your computer? It, it is working slow. I don't know why. Okay, Marcela. I would like I would like to ask you some questions. Um, you restart your computer after the issue. I already did it. It doesn't work. I would like you to come and check it. Okay, I see. I will be there in an hour. Okay, thank you, Katia. Okay, I see you there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Good conversation. Thank you. It was about tech support. That's cool. Okay, now let me see. Um, Rafa, can you continue? Rafa and Jani. Okay. Hello, Jani. What would you like to do on vacation? Mm -hmm. uh, hello, Rafa. I would like to go to the beach. Which beach would you like to go to? I would like to visit Miami and you, Rafa. I would like to travel to Spain or other countries. Oh, very good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. See you later. Bye. Mm -hmm. Very Bye. good. Mm -hmm. Very good structures. Thank you, Jani and Rafa. Thank you. Let's continue. Daisy and Rina. Okay. Hi, Daisy. How can I help you? Hello, Aura. I would like to book a room for the next weekend. Sure. When would you like to check in? I would like to arrive next Monday around six in the evening and I would like dinner in two. It will be $50 per night. Okay, Aura, thank you, goodbye. Okay, sounds good. Que bien que ya saben que ese de book es como reservation. Uh -huh. I would like to book a room. Okay, very professional, very professional conversation. Okay, thank you, Rina, and thank you, Daisy. Let's continue with um, René, Surma, Rosy. Uh, hello, this is Rene from Technical Support. How can I help you? Hello, Rene. I am Rosie. I would like to report a problem in the use of the internet on my cell phone. 
Okay, I see. Um, did you really try to restart your phone? Yes, I tried. I see. And how many signal bars do you see on your phone? I see four bars. Four bars, okay. Well, it seems to be a problem with the device. So I will send a technical, I will send a technician over there so they will take in care to get it that one fixed today. Ahí ya no le entendí. <laughs> va a mandar a alguien. He will send someone. No. <laughs> ahí va a llegar alguien. <laughs> but thank you. Okay. Casi todo estuvo ahí. <laughs> thank you, Rosy. Thank you, René. Y Zulma tuvo problemas con su connection, I imagine. Yeah, he, he was having a problem with the mm -hmm. connection. Sí. So okay. he couldn't hear it. I imagine. Uh, but she was there. Um, mm -hmm. Just hear okay. us. Okay, all right. Nelson, Alberto, and Maricela. Okay. Hi, Nelson. How are you today? Hey, hello, Maricela. How are you? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to say because I feel tired and training very hard work. So, what about you? Uh, Okay. Oh, would you like to put on Sunday? Yes, I like. Yes, I would like. It's to put on. Um, uh, I bring. I bring chocolate. <laughs> would you, and you? wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't like coffee. You wouldn't no, like to coffee. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't coffee. I like chocolate. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's very good. And you would you would you would like would, would you? Uh -huh. <laughs> so I uh, don't like you like the pupusa because of the other issues. But uh, uh, more the pupusa with chili or, or chicken um, or a cheese. Okay. Um, uh, would you like would you like to go to the work tomorrow? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to work <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Nelson. Bye. bye bye she didn't want to tell you why <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you maricela thank you alberto alberto uh, one comment maricela when you talk about chocolate if you're talking about the drink about the beverage you have to say hot hot chocolate because only hot chocolate chicken. is the bar the candy mm -hmm. oh, okay. so hot chocolate is the drink okay okay and then we continue with Nelson and Mario. Okay. Hello, Rene. Hello, Mario. How are you? Very good, my friend. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Uh, Mario, um, would you like to go to the cinema? Yes. Would I like to go to cinema? Um, very good. Uh, Rene, and you, what would you like to on vacation? Yes, I, I would like to take, take a walk a uh, so with my family. Right. Right, right my friend. I'm glad to see you with you. Goodbye. Bye, Mario. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. 
you use would like maybe only in one one sentence i didn't hear it like that so it would be mario i would like to go to the cinema but mostly it was it was good so thank you all of you here i'm going to share with you maybe some possibilities of questions that you can use when you want to offer help when you call technical support when you receive the call from you are from the tech support department you can say this for example how can i help you what can i do for you how may i help you sorry Okay, these are some possibilities, some options you can use when you offer your help. Okay, there are some options you can use. It is the same, but you have different, different options. We use it in, in companies to offer help. So there you have some, there are more, but because of the time, I only will share those three. Okay, last activity, last activity. Please create five questions using would like to. Create five questions using would like to for your partners, the ones you were working with. Creen cinco preguntas y luego esas preguntas se las van a hacer a sus compañeros con los que estaban trabajando en el breakup room. Create five questions and then ask your questions to the partners you were working with, okay? Because of the time, I'm going to give you about three minutes to create the questions. Tienen tres minutos aproximadamente, tres, cuatro minutos para crear las preguntas y luego como cinco minutos para practicarlo. So I'll give you a moment so you can do it.
Okay, please accept the invitation and ask your classmates the questions that you already have. I'll be there with you just to hear you, with some of you. Hi. Hi, teacher. ¿Y usted, Daisy, si tiene algunas preguntas? De dos. Dos. Ya tengo dos, yo también. Ah, ok. Bueno, voy a escuchar solo para ver cómo las hacen, porque igual creo que con eso van a llegar. Solo vamos a estar aquí como cinco minutos. Ok. So you okay. Can... Yo he puesto una, would, would you like to listen to music? ¿Otra yes. vez? Would Sorry. you like to the listening music? Ah, bye. Ahí al final, Rina, puede decir, would you like to listen to music? Ah, to yeah. listen. Ajá, to listen. Hay dos tú. To listen to music. Ok, one more time. I tengo otra. Would, would you like to drink coffee in the morning? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, that one is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And sería, what, would, what would you like tomorrow? What would you like to do? Oh. O no sé si ese es el verbo, or what would you like to eat, to drink? Oh. Pero uh, un second verb. Como ah, que hago o que ah, haría en la mañana. Ajá, depende de qué verbo le ponga Daisy. Pero ajá, el verbo no le había colocado. Ah, Así okay. que, digamos, que, que a preguntar qué le gustaría hacer mañana. Ah, pues sí, tú. Ah. Eso sería, what would you like to do? To, to do. Uh -huh. What would you like to do? To do tomorrow. Uh -huh. Uh, la segunda, would like sing song in English. Would you? <laughs> would you like? Would you like uh -huh. sing song in to English? Sing. To sing. We A song in uh, English. Uh, okay. okay. Would you like to sing a song in English? Oh, sí. Okay. Vaya, yo las escucho. Ustedes vayan una a una y cualquier cosa y les doy feedback. Ok, ya tengo las tres. Would, would you like to listen to music? I, I would like to listen to music. Would you like to drink coffee in the morning? I wouldn't like coffee in the morning. Would you like to go to the beach? Uh, yes, I would like to go to the beach. Okay. Bye. Ay, las mías serían, what would you like to do tomorrow? I would like, ¿cómo es? ¿Qué haría yo en la mañana? ¿Qué, qué te gustaría hacer mañana? Um, I would like Drink coffee <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> and la otra, would you like to sing a song 
in English. I I would like. ¿Qué? ¿Comar qué clases de inglés? ¿Qué me pusiste? No, cantar. Cantar una canción. Ah. Uh, I, I would like. Not sing. <laughs> Ay, no sé cómo contestar. Sería, I would, no te gustaría cantar una canción en inglés. O si no. te gustaría. <laughs> 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 I I wouldn't I wouldn't like sing, ah sí por pasar la negativa sing a song in, in English mm -hmm. I okay sorry ya no la dejé terminar ahí la la sentence okay I hope you had enough time to practice just to a solo con Daisy and Tina I didn't have enough time to visit your rooms. Um, just general feedback, general feedback. If you ask a yes, no question, cuando preguntan una, una yes, no question, podrían decir, for example, sería un, um, algo mandatory, algo que si tenemos que agregar, sería yes or no, like, Would you like to go to the party? Uh, yes. Short answer, yes. Podrían decir, yes, I would. This could be an, an option. Yes, I would. Or it's also possible to say, yes, I would like to. Y si de verdad quieres mucho, you can change the verb. And you can say, I would love to. Okay, if you want to. And the negative form, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. That will be the negative option, short answer. No, I wouldn't. Or, no, I wouldn't. Like to. Okay, so I just wanted to give you that, that feedback. Solo se los quería decir así a manera general. Okay, uh, today I have no one for the session, so if someone wants to stay, you can stay. Hay alguien que se quiera quedar para la session de 10 minutos, porque le toca a Vladimir, pero no está. Así que si alguien se quiere quedar. Puede hacer. Les voy a dar tiempo ahí por si lo quieren pensar, meditar. I'm going to take the attendance. So, Daisy Yesenia. Present. Iris Joana. Jennifer Marcela. Present. Jose Mario. Present. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lisette del Carmen. Marisela del Carmen. Present. Okay, Nehemias Regalo, Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay, Nelson René. Rafael Present. Present. Okay. Present. René Guardado. Rina Espinosa. Present. Present. Rosy Meléndez. Present. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Lisset. Present. And Zulma Lorena. You can send it by chat, Zulma. Okay, so is there someone? If not, it's okay too. I understand. Okay, in that case, well, nice to have you here, guys. I hope you can rest a lot over the weekend and I hope to see you again on Monday, okay? See you next week in that case. Bye bye everyone. Bye, Sweet dreams. Bye bye teachers. Bye See bye. You. Bye guys. Bye. Have a nice night. Bye. Teacher, go.
Ok, excelente. Ok, Marce, ¿quisieras practicarlo de ahora o hay algo más que quisieras? Mm. No, lo de ahora, teacher, o sea, pero así, resúmamelo. Vaya, sí, porque o era sea, algo ajá, amplio. Porque, ajá, pero, pero como lo, lo, más, lo más básico. Ok, vaya, estamos viendo cómo utilizar would like to. Es diferente porque está would like to y está solo would, pero este no es would. El que estamos viendo ahorita es would like, así que... Si lo utilizamos diferente, ya cambia el significado que, que les he dado ahora. Would like is equal to want. Eso es lo que significa. But we use it especially with offers or requests. Pero lo utilizamos más cuando estamos como ofreciendo, queremos ofrecer algo. O cuando queremos pedir algo de una manera polite, como educada. Como, por ejemplo, cuando uno le quiere pedir algo a un jefe, a alguien superior a uno, en vez de utilizar want, lo mejor, lo más adecuado es utilizar would like por la posición de respeto, ¿verdad? Por la manera en la que uno lo pide. Y les daba el ejemplo este de, si yo di, digo a mi jefe, I want to have a raise, pido un aumento, yo quiero un aumento. Se oye más como que lo estoy demandando si yo utilizo mm. want. Ahora, si yo utilizo would like, estoy siempre pidiendo, pero el sentido que uno le da ya en English es más profesional. Sería es como, más suave. como want, sería como quiero y en I will sería como me gustaría, así como mm. más suavecito. Ajá, quisiera, como ese tono. Entonces, ah, como es... lo de duda, no de demanda. Ajá, ajá, creo que así sería una buena manera de ponerlo. Entonces ya vamos con I would like to y ya el verbo que queremos utilizar. I would like to have a race. Ya es lo mismo, pero el jefe no lo va a pedir o no lo va a sentir de la misma manera. O parents and, and children, los hijos. A veces dicen, mom, I want... Ok, si uno lo dice así, o si un hijo lo dice así a la mamá, se oye como que a la, la sirvienta, por así decirlo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como que demandando una orden. But this sounds better, porque es algo que estamos pidiendo, like a request. Mom, you can use contraction, no sé si quieres que te re refuerce lo de las contractions o si las captaste. No, ¿Vemos es eso? No, no, ok. No, no. Ajá, ajá. Bye. Entonces sería, mom, I, I would like to, um, to have or to eat food. Ok, y ya ahí ya no se siente igual de pesado lo, la solicitud o la petición. Okay, entonces esa es la manera afirmativa. Ahora, la manera negativa creo que eso sí ya la... La vista es la manera negativa sería, hay three options. Podría ser, no contraction, I would not like to work tomorrow. This is one possibility, no contraction. Or you can use a contraction like this. I wouldn't like to work tomorrow. And possibility number two, you contract the subject with put, I not like to work tomorrow. Okay, so three possibilities. One, two, three. Veamos lo de las contractions. Okay. Um, step. Can you tell me the seven subjects? Puedes mencionarme los siete sujetos que existen, please. I, mm -hmm. you, she, mm -hmm. he, it, they, we, and they. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have all the subjects. 
And with all of them, we can use would. And then would like to, right? Would like to. Okay, if you want to, you can make a contraction. You use the subject apostrophe and the last letter of would, la última letra de would. You would, we will say you, apostrophe, the, you. She, she, apostrophe, the, she. He, apostrophe, the, he would, he. It, no contraction. We don't make contractions with it. It's not possible, only it would. And then we, apostrophe and D again, we would with. And this, the next they would they. And that is the contraction. In a sentence, I like to go to the beach. Okay, it's the same, but now I'm using the contraction. Ahí es lo mismo, pero ya estoy contractando. Que es algo bien común en inglés, cortar las palabras y hacerlas una. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y en el negativo hay tres. O sea, la puede decir I would not. I would, wouldn't, y I not. Mm -hmm. Correct. Serían esas diferentes maneras. Pero como te mencionaba, esto es would like to, ¿verdad? Eso es el, el significado que estamos viendo. Ya si solo utilizamos would con otro verbo, ya cambia la situación. Mm -hmm. Ya va a ser diferente. Eso no lo estamos estudiando aún. Vaya, y de la, de la pregunta, teacher, ¿cómo es la estructura? Solo se cambian. You change the position of the subject, subject and word. That is the only change that we make. Like word here. primero y el, y el sujeto después. Ajá, aunque esas estaban negativas, pero ajá, ya sería would you like to drink coffee in this moment? Would you like to drink coffee? Y como les uh, mencionaba, creo que ya estabas acá para ese momento, podemos utilizar WH questions. Mm -hmm. Solo este, como que encerrarnos en yes, no questions. No, aquí está abierto utilizar todas las WH questions que hay. Y esa iría antes del would, ¿verdad? Siempre se puede. Por ejemplo, antes. where, where. Pero ¿y cómo sería where would you? O uh -huh. where you would. Sí, solo le anteponemos la WH question. Where would you like to go on vacation? I want, I would like to go to a taco. Y ya contestamos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, teacher, hoy sí ya le he entendido. Oh, ya, ya, hoy sí, ya, hoy sí, quedó mejor. Sí, sí, hoy sí. Ok, entonces eso es lo que hemos estado analizando, ¿verdad? Pero como les mencionaba, igual vamos a tener un repaso viernes, Ajá, vamos a practicar. Y mañana, mañana, no me recuerdo ahorita qué es lo que viene, no sé si es wood normal, no me recuerdo. Bueno, pero ya mañana. No, mañana ni hay clases. Ajá. Ajá. Monday. Monday. Bueno, ya verán ahí qué, qué es lo que viene, ¿verdad? Monday. Así okay. que así sería, Marce. Okay, okay, teacher. Thank you very much. Welcome. Have a nice day. Well, the rest of it. Enjoy it. I hope you can Thank rest. You. See you on Have Monday. Thank you. Bye-bye.